Cincinnati's Fountain Square is a vital part of urban Cincinnati and is seen by many as the heart of Cincinnati. The square plays an important role in giving the community a sense of place. The square has gone through two different renewal projects, one in 1971 and another in 2005. These redevelopment projects, although vastly different in their goals, have both shaped this area into the place that it is today, a space where residents and visitors alike can find a welcoming community that serves as a hub for Cincinnati and its vibrant lifestyle. Fountain Square is located on 520 Vine Street in the Central Business District of Cincinnati, Ohio. This historical location is where the Tyler Davidson Fountain has been located since it was shipped across the sea from Germany in 1871. Throughout its time, the square has served many different purposes for the city, but has always been a space that the public used as the central gathering space for the community. For example, Nowadays, Fountain Square offers a variety of activities all year long for the community to engage in. The square features a convenient spot for employees in the area to eat lunch under the sun or check out what's playing on the video board. This two-acre square in the heart of Cincinnati was first founded in 1871 and has since gone through two renovation projects. The initial site of the square was first used as a burial mound that quickly transitioned into a butcher's market. Building this space as a plaza was actually controversial at the time. Many people opposed its development. When developers of the city came forward with their plan for the space, the butchers did not want to leave their location, which served as their job and livelihood. These developers then sent out a gang of workers in the middle of the night to destroy all of the butchers' stalls. The fountain was sent to Cincinnati in honor of Tyler Davidson and was actually redesigned as a drinking fountain. The original vision for the purpose of this fountain was to keep Cincinnatians out of the downtown salons, since prior to the fountain's installation, the only place to get a drink was the salons or a local coffee house. The fountain was later dedicated in honor of the people of Cincinnati, which is how it has stayed ever since. The 1971 renovation was a much smaller scale than the 2005 renovation and included slightly moving and reorienting the Tyler Davidson Fountain to the west. They also made the plaza bigger by removing the original westbound portion of 5th Street and demolishing several buildings to the north. This renewal project was minor compared to that of the 2005 renovation, both structurally and with its impact on society. Structures were moved around and allowed for better flow through the streets, but not much was considered for the space for the community. The 1970 renovation was also in part to redesign better traffic flow through downtown Cincinnati. This renovation was performed in the mindset of logistics for the city. For example, moving people in and out of the city in a more efficient way, moving the fountain, and removing areas of the square. Before the 2005 redevelopment, the square was very closed off in an unwelcoming site due to excessive concrete, dark colors, and little to no available congregating space. Prior to 2005, the square was not much of a square at all, and almost 10 times smaller than the square is today. There was a pedestrian bridge that connects the square to the street adjacent to it. This was taken out in 2005 renewal along with cobblestones that were designed in a pattern that moved away from the fountain. In the 2005 construction, concrete was implemented, which is more versatile for the events that take place in the square. Prior to 2005, the square inhibited less community engagement, social events, and socialization. The main difference between the two renewal projects was the purpose. In 1970, the main goal was to improve the flow of people in and out of the city. In 2005, the main goal was to improve the lives of the people in the city, giving them a place to gather and want to stay. The 21st Century Renewal Project started in 2005 through a corporation known as Cincinnati Center City Development Corporation, or 3CDC, whom leased Fountain Square from the city of Cincinnati and began the $48.9 million worth of renovations. 3CDC is a nonprofit real estate development company bringing neglected buildings and spaces back into use. They have done this in support of Cincinnati's major corporations who help them in growing the vibrant mixed income neighborhood that is downtown Cincinnati. This company supports four goals, creating high density mixed use development, 
preserving historical structures and streetscapes, and build diverse mixed-income neighborhoods supported by local businesses. The renewal process of Fountain Square lasted until October of 2006, when the square was ready for use once more. During this renewal process, the fountain was given a prominent central position looking over the square adjacent to the space for seating of the pedestrians. The reasoning for this renovation was to spur economic development throughout the district and create a highly valued asset that anchors Cincinnati's downtown as an economic, cultural, and civic heart of the city. In 2005, Fountain Square's renovation was well underway, both in terms of construction of improving within the square and increasing amount of investment surrounding the square. This renovation not only moved the fountain again, but also made the square into a premier public gathering area. Accomplishments of the renewal project of Fountain Square include plaza and garage demolishment, garage repairs, structural concrete improvements, 50% waterproofing completed, and contracting and developing a restaurant operator for the pavilion building that sits above the entrance of the garage. The completed garage repairs below 5th Street required 45 days of street closure. Hobbs Architectural Foundation implemented the children's water feature and LED board manufacturer implemented another critical Fountain Square features. Underneath Fountain Square, there is a four-floor parking garage that is monitored 24-7, allowing for a safe, secure space for vehicles to stay while pedestrians enjoy the square above. The parking garage can be found in the heart of downtown, with two entrances and exits ramps that are located northbound Vine Street between 5th and 6th Street, and on southbound Walnut Street between 6th and 5th Street. As seen by these photos captured from Social Explorer, it is evident that since 1940 there has been a decline in resident living in downtown Cincinnati. One of the most important parts of Fountain Square redevelopment project was to bring life back to downtown area. I believe that it has achieved this by creating a space for the community to gather, a place where the community can feel safe in a city that they can be proud of. The thought and hope was that it would also bring more residents back to this area. I believe that in five years, these maps will show a higher increase of population moving back into the downtown area. The square has since improved civic space, continuing to serve as a catalyst for new residential, retail, and restaurant venues. The square has become the main hub for the city and the central landmark for visitors to see. During lunch breaks, holidays, and weekends, Cincinnatians flock to the square to meet with peers, colleagues, or to take part in any event that the square has to offer. 3CDC estimates that the Fountain Square's renovation has resulted in the investment of nearly $403 million in addition private dollars in the Fountain Square District and Backstage District. 3CDC continues to help out all across Cincinnati and can be seen in almost every redevelopment project in the downtown Cincinnati area. Having public spaces like this one is important in cities because it provides people with many opportunities to come together and engage with the community, which is evident in this video of one of the many events that happens in the square. When public spaces are successful, they are inclusive of all diversity groups present in the cities and create social spaces for everyone in the society to participate in. The renovated Fountain Square does a good job at displaying those qualities. Fountain Square hosts many events such as concerts, annual festivals, weekly activities such as Salsa on the Square and Reggae Wednesday, and even has an ice rink in the winter. Things such as accessibility of the space, the comfort of the space, and social ability all lead to su sufficient public spaces. In terms of Fountain Square, it is accessible to all due to its openness and placement of the square in the heart of Cincinnati. Fountain Square is also accessible to handicapped pedestrians. It also implements many seating options as well as different ways to engage with the community. Public spaces can create a connection between the space and the people and forming a sense of togetherness in that said space. Squares create social networks where people can meet new people and add to the sociability of the public space. In conclusion, the renovation of Fountain Square has been an important catalyst for improvements in Cincinnati. 3CDC continues to generate renewal projects all over Cincinnati and is still very active in events held on Fountain Square. 
The renovation itself and support from the community has resulted in free, fun, and programmed events being held on the square weekly as well as all season long. Now a landmark, the square renovation proves beneficial for the city. The square has come a long way since 1871 and continues to improve and renew the sense of community in the downtown Cincinnati area.